Hometown Magazine on AM 1160 WCCS. Good morning and welcome to Hometown Magazine. I'm Josh Whittison along with Chuck Clark. We're glad you could join us once again. And the time here at AM 1160 is 810. Joining us as they do every month, we have representatives from the Homer Center School District. But this time around, we're going to be talking about one of their upcoming events this month. It is their annual musical, which is done in the fall, not uh, very uh, unlike many of the school districts in our area. So in studio with us today, we have Julia Buggy and Brendan Vought, I believe, Vote, sorry. And we also have their director, Luce DePanic, joining us as well. Everyone, good morning and welcome morning. to the show. Good morning. Thank you. All right, let's talk with, uh, let's talk with Julia first. Now, okay. Julia, Hello. talk about uh, some of what you do for the show. Okay, so I was casted as Dorothy, uh, probably late September, early October. And um, for the process of the musical, we've been practicing every night, about an hour, two hours, between vocal practices, blocking, staging. Mm -hmm. It's been really different for me. This is my first time as a lead in a musical. I've been a townsperson or an extra in the years past, but it's been really fun. So a member far. of the chorus then, huh? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you d you had to audition, obviously. Uh, did you have to yes. sing for your audition? Yes. I had to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and I had to do um, a script. I actually had to read and... Um, luckily, I had to memorize some of it, but I got to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow and a scene with the witch I had to do, ah, so okay. I had to so you had bring to... out my scared side. And... Ah, okay, so you had to do all of that early. Now, have you, you've obviously seen the movie before. Yes, I watched it all the time as a little girl, yeah. How much of that, how much of playing up to, I guess, Judy Garland, who was, who was Dorothy yeah. in the film, how much of that is kind of in your performance? A lot of it. It's very difficult because it's a classic and everyone knows Judy Garland. Everyone knows how she acts. So that's mm -hmm. the model for it, basically. There's a lot of things that are really similar to the movie, but mm -hmm. um, scenes such as the jitterbug were cut from the movie and are new. So so those jitterbug scenes will be in The Wizard of Oz. Now, for you said those were cut from the original film? Yes, they were cut. Okay. And I guess... Uh, what they were, what they were replaced with was what? What did they replace them with? Anything? Was it the poppy fields or something like that? In the movie? Yeah. I believe it, they had the poppy fields, but I believe it was just cut. Okay, completely. that's fine. There wasn't a replacement. All right, Lou. Lou, I think is going to give a little clarification. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. It's, it's okay. Right. They the movie was running long, so they they cut. They had it all filmed, but they cut the jitterbug they out. Just Cut that one piece. In fact, out. they were thinking of cutting Somewhere Over the Rainbow also. Oh, boy, I'm glad they didn't because that became one of the great standards <laughs> of Judy Garland and of all of America's songbook. Let's have uh, Brandon Vogt step up here. And, uh, Brandon, maybe you can tell us what role you play in The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, um, I was casted as a scarecrow, so, I mean, I guess everybody knows the iconic scarecrow part. You don't have a brain. I mm -hmm. uh, guess lanky, long, stumbles over his words, stumbles everywhere he falls down all the time, but... I really enjoyed the role, you know, having learned everything and just really embraced the character as a whole. Now, Brandon, because you are the Scarecrow, you have to do a lot of comedic uh, dancing, we'll call it. <laughs> yeah. uh, you get to flail around your arms and legs. How difficult is that to learn? Uh, surprisingly, it, it's actually really hard. I mean, it, you should, it practice took me, I don't know, a half hour to learn how to do a simple somersault and find mm -hmm. out, you know, how to fall with grace and style without looking <laughs> stupid. But, I mean... It's actually more of a challenge than I first thought of, you know, learning to fall on stage and look good about it. Now, you obviously also have watched the film probably many oh, times over. Yeah, my brother and I, we watched it all the time when we were kids during the summer break. And Did you ever think that you would one day play the Scarecrow? Um, no, but I mean, to, he was my favorite character, you know. Uh -huh. uh, I loved him, you know, watching the movie. And it's, it's been great, you know, playing him. Now, uh, Brandon, talk about what well, some of the other things that uh, uh, you get to do with the with the musical. I mean, you're getting to sing too. Is this your first time doing a musical? First off, uh, no. Last year was my uh, first musical, and I had a singer role. Uh, I was Young Ebenezer when we did the the Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol, yes, yeah, so, yeah. And I've also participated in chorus and gone to many festivals with that. All right, and uh, also wanted to wanted to add. You said that you this was your first singing role yes. as well, um, uh, Julia. So did, yes. obviously you've had a lot of chorus experience. Right, I, I haven't been to county chorus or anything like Brandon, but just within the chorus concerts, I had a uh, solo last year in the spring chorus concert. Excellent. But That's... other than that, this is this is my first big go at it. Well, so. well it's going to be a lot of fun, I can tell you that. <laughs> my, my question uh, for Lou is, how difficult is it to pick what performance 
that you'll work on during the year? I mean, I know you have a lot of choices out there, but but what goes into that final decision is, well, this is what we're going to do. Last year when we did the Christmas Carol, we used uh, elementary students mm-hmm. for one of the scenes. And it worked out really well, and it really boosted our attendance because you have at least four people coming for every <laughs> elementary kid you get there. So we were also looking this year for something that we could employ um, – Elementary students, and they're all munchkins. So we have a, a large cast. Of- <laughs> I kind of guessed that. But you do need a large cast of uh, children to play the munchkins in, the, in that case, because that's a, that's a big part. Yeah. It's a memorable scene for the movie. Sure. And it's, it's really different. I've, I've, I've taught high school my entire career, and to work with the little kids is something different. All right. Well, let's go over some of the particulars. When will the, uh, when will the show take place? We'll have the actors uh, come back up to the mic. Brandon, when will the show start? Yeah, the, it will be on November 21st and 22nd. It'll be in the J.S. Fires Auditorium in Homer Center High School, and the showings will be at 7 p.m. So curtains at 7, and uh, are there advanced ticket sales going on? Yes. A general seating will be $5 at the door, or you can get uh, preferred seating pre-sale also for $8. All right, excellent. Well, I want to thank all three of you, Julia, Brandon, and Director Lou, for joining us on Hometown Magazine. The best thing I can tell the three of you, from a guy who does community theater every now and then, <laughs> break a leg. Thank you <laughs> thank so you. much. Thank you. All right, once again, that is Brandon Vote, Julia Buggy, and their director, Lou Stepanek, from Homer Center School District, talking about the musical The Wizard of Oz, going to be on November 21st and 22nd at 7 p.m. Should be a good show.